What's up, everyone? It's me, Chris Hernandez, and welcome back to another episode of Should Your Kids Play? And today, we're talking about Windbound. Windbound is a survival game with very unique aspects. The base mechanics of Windbound requires the player to traverse the sea, or rather the Forbidden Islands, while also trying to survive. True to all survival games, Windbound has cooking and crafting at its core. The player is given the task of unraveling the mysteries of the Forbidden Islands. And in order to do this, you must build a boat to travel between different islands, obviously, and on these islands you will find animals, plants, and clues about the game's story. The game is definitely beautiful at first glance and seems like a spectacular game to play. However, not only should this game be for more experienced video game players, but for players who enjoy spending countless hours exploring, crafting, and fighting. I say this because the game has a lack of flow or direction, I should say. Now, this may seem fine at first, but when that hunger meter starts to go off and you find yourself unable to hunt or cook things, then things will start to get a tad bit rocky for you. But of course, the more you play, the more you obviously unlock in terms of hunting gear and resource gathering, so you should be fine the more you play the game. Now, what's the replay value? This game definitely has potential to consume tons of gameplay hours, but I personally would not say there's high replay value after beating this game. But again, that's a personal opinion. This is one of those games where you have to love the nitty gritty grind that comes with playing a survival game. And hopefully you don't get too bored when trying to hunt or resource gather and things like that. The game boasts around nine to 12 hours of gameplay in kind of like the main and side stories uh that go on you can potentially spend more hours in the game because as i mentioned before there is a lack of direction and flow to the game so you could wind up spending more than 9 to 12 hours playing the game on your first playthrough now how much does the game cost us windbound is available for pc xbox playstation and nintendo switch for the roundabout price of $29.99. As of making this video, I believe Windbound was on sale in the PlayStation Store for around $13. So if you really want to try this game out and if you think it's worth it for your kids to play, definitely check it out on the PlayStation. Now, is there a social component to this game? No, Windbound is a single player game. There is no need to worry about any type of social component or them or your children talking to anyone online. So uh, there's that. Now, what about final words and also the rating for this game? I would definitely say this game is great for kids 12 and up. Windbound is definitely a unique exploration survival game that changes the genre up by having players learn how to survive at sea and always be on the move. The game is definitely fun to play, but again, I keep repeating this, I do not see myself replaying Windbound. However, again, the game is fun to play and has great cartoony graphics the graphics almost remind me of games like Breath of the Wild and Genshin Impact. Now, that's about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, drop in the comments, let me know what game do you want to see next, and I will see you all next time.